Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5-Minute Friday, I'm going to do a demonstration of Mesh on Demand. Mesh on Demand is a feature of the Mesh browser. The website is meshb.nlm.nih.gov slash mesh on demand. I'll put a link in the video description below. Mesh on Demand is a little bit like the Manuscript Matcher that I've shown you before, where you put in a part of your abstract or your manuscript and you are matched with journals that publish in your field. With Mesh on Demand, you're entering a part of your abstract or manuscript and getting matched with Mesh Terms. Mesh Terms are medical subject headings. I've done a video on that, so I'll put a link in the top right hand corner if you'd like a refresher. Medical subject headings are used in Medline to index literature to make it more findable for users. Mesh on Demand could be really helpful if a journal is asking for keywords or if you'd like to submit keywords along with your manuscript to help make it more findable once it's indexed in Medline. You could also use Mesh on Demand if you are a searcher and would like to explore how a particular article could be indexed in Medline, perhaps one of your seed or key articles. If you're an author looking for mesh terms, ideally you'd be using an abstract from a paper that you are going to submit in the future. If you're an expert searcher, you'd be using Mesh on Demand to investigate indexing for your seed or key articles. I'm going to select from an already published paper. I've pulled up a tab over here on the right. I will just select this first article, Physical Exercise Training for Cystic Fibrosis. And I'm going to copy the abstract. Just copy it up through there. We'll go back to the Mesh on Demand search and enter the entire abstract here. I'll click search. And what it did was take the words in my abstract and match them up with medical subject headings, which show up over here on the right. Some of them are very broad, humans, child, adult, adolescent. Some of them are more narrow, oxygen consumption, exercise therapy, forced expiratory volume, cystic fibrosis. If we hover on the eye next to the term, we'll see the scope note for that term. If we click on the term, we'll be directed to the Mesh browser where we can find out more about that medical subject heading. Let's go back to the Mesh on Demand search. And we can also scroll down the page and see that PubMed has given us 10 very similar articles. We can click on any of these PMIDs which is PubMed ID to view that article. This could help you see if something else has been published in your area or maybe find potential collaborators. We'll go back to Mesh on Demand. And the last thing that you can do with Mesh on Demand is start a PubMed search. So I'll click on that option and it's giving me all of the medical subject headings that were associated with my topic. We have the medical subject heading and then broader terms for that medical subject heading. Let's say I'm still interested in this topic. I'll choose cystic fibrosis and exercise tolerance. And I'll scroll back up and search in PubMed. Now what it does is build a search based on the medical subject headings that I've chosen. And we see 352 results. If I go into advanced, which shows my search details, I can click on the chevron to see exactly how the search was run. So we have cystic fibrosis as a medical subject heading, or cystic fibrosis, or cystic fibrosis of the pancreas, and more as keywords, and exercise tolerance as a medical subject heading, or exercise tolerance as a keyword. If I wanted to capture this search so that it was reproducible, I would copy this, paste it in a Word document, and save it. I don't use Mesh on Demand very often, but I can definitely see utility for researchers and authors. Number one, to find medical subject headings in your subject area. Number two, to find similar articles similar to one that you're about to submit. And number three, to search in PubMed with those medical subject headings. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.